Meta ads have changed drastically in 2025. Meta has announced the Andromeda update. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what kind of campaign structure you need to use to become successful. And I'm also going to show you how targeting works in 2025. So this is going to be a crucial video if you want to crush Meta ads in 2025. So grab a cup of coffee, make sure you subscribe. And now let's get started. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In case you're new here, welcome. Super excited to have you. My name is Jules. I'm an entrepreneur and a content creator and I'll say marketer. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run ads in 2025 with Meta because I hear this so often that Meta ads are dead and it's not working anymore. And to be honest, like this could not be further from the truth. Like as of recording of this video on the 10th of November in 2025, by the way, um, our ads are crushing it and they are working better than ever before. So um, it's actually not true at all that it's not working, but things have changed. Like how you ran ads, I don't know, like three, four or five months ago. This is not how you do it today. So in this video, I'm going to show you how it works. And the good part is it's actually a lot easier compared to how it was in the past. But let's kick things off. So I'm here inside of a, you know, inside of a sample ad account. So that's also why there is nothing here inside. Um, and let's get started with creating a campaign. Um, when it comes to the campaign objective, what kind of campaign objective should you use? In my opinion, for like 99% of all of you guys, it should be either a sales campaign or a leads campaign. Um, if you want to run awareness traffic or engagement campaigns what you're going to do is you're going to get a lot of like a big reach you're going to get lots of likes and interactions but it's not going to translate into any sales and into revenue at the end of the day so that's not what we want leads is going to be really good if you are i don't know if you're running a local business and you want to collect um, information like contact information of potential clients that you then call later on or in case you want to have like a very simple book a call funnel that's when you're going to do a lead form or like uh, leads as a campaign objective but but in like every other scenario, sales is going to be the way to go. So just click on continue here inside of the inside of the ad uh, inside of the campaign level. Excuse me. Basically, the only question that we should talk about is campaign or ad set budget. And in my opinion, it depends a little bit for the campaign that we are setting up right now, which is going to be a sting campaign. Um, the way and how I like to test is through ad set budget. So that way I have more control and that way I can test on what I want to test, whether it's different geographic ethical regions, whether it's different creatives, I just have a lot more control. I do like to have this toggle on where I, I still want to give Meta more control because the AI is just so damn good already that I, I, I actually trust it more compared to how it was in the past. But um, when it comes to the testing campaign, um, this should just be a ad set budget optimization. Um, ideally, you will also have your audience segmented. So what you can do here is you can just click here on this audience segment reporting, and then you can upload a CSV file of people that are engaged of like people that were on your sales page, people that went to your checkout, people that showed some kind of an interest, people that are a lead for you. And then you can also upload a, a list of existing customers, which is basically just a paying member list. And again, also just a very simple CSV file. Again, since this is just a sample ad account, I don't have this set up right now, but this is something that you're always doing. And this is one of the key changes with Andromeda is that you're not segmenting cold audience and warm audience. So you're not using like your your basic top of funnel, middle middle of funnel and bottom of funnel campaigns. We're just combining all of this because Meta just knows better what's going to perform best. So yeah, that's everything that we do here. And then let's talk about the ad set. Um, yeah, the ad set and the targeting itself. Naming convention is going to be crucially important. It's not going to be super important for this video, but the way and how I like to use it is just um, have uh, the year, then the month and then the day. And then it's like, I don't know, like a USA I don't know, interest campaign, something like this. And I also like to have the naming here. Um, the reason for that is um, I want to be able to filter it fast. So I do not want to waste like tons of time to figure out like, okay, what has this campaign actually been when I'm doing my data analysis? So with one glance, I need to see like, okay, when did I start this? Who, like, where am I targeting geographically? Is it a lookalike? Is it open targeting? Is it whatever? In this case, it's going to be an interest base. And then also the age. That's basically all I need. And then I'm good to go from here on. When it comes to the conversion um, uh, side of things, my conversion 
like destiny is always the um, is always my website i always want to maximize the number of conversion um, you need to have a pixel setup uh, again this would be way too much to cover in this video by the way um, in case all of this is too fast for you and you want to have this broken down into your bit-sized pieces and you also want to have a community to go alongside with the training program make sure you check out the first link down below that like button we do have an awesome master class called ai meta ads accelerator where we are going to show you how you can use the power of ai on one side and how you can combine this and use this to run successful meta ads it's an absolute epic master class i think we have something like 50 tutorials inside and again a community alongside with it where i'm going to show you everything that i'm showing you also here but in like 10 times more detail and also everything else like how you can set up how you can um, set up your tracking how you can set, uh, create creatives um, how you, like all of this we also give you custom ai tools um, again check out the link down below it will be the first link below that like button but yeah, the way and how I came to this was you need to have a pixel set up and you also need to set up a custom conversion. And in this case, for me, it's going to be a purchase. If you're collecting leads, if you're trying to collect phone numbers, whatever, um, then this might be complete registration. But usually and also the way and what we found is uh, it's just going to be uh, it's just going to be purchased. That's how you can get the best quality leads. If we scroll further down and um, we could create custom rules, that's all going to be um, way too much for now. When it comes to the budget, um, again, and it depends a little bit on the type of product that you're selling it also depends a little bit on your target market like are you selling something locally is it going to be only relevant to where you live plus 10 kilometers or are you selling worldwide um, i would say something like the minimum budget would be um not 50 but actually five euros per day for one ad set and like maybe one or maximum two ads but in this case i'm just gonna get started with let's say 10 euros per day and this is going to give me like a very good starting point and then i can test um two creatives afterwards so ten dollars per day i do not like to set an end date for some reason like whenever we set an end date uh, the performance is just dropping and it's not performing as well compared to what it used to do so we just leave that open and that's when we're talking about the audience um this is going to be crucially important and this is probably what you have been waiting for so listen very closely so in the past if i would have made this video let's say five months ago i always Always told our students that um, go to further limit the reach of your ads and make sure that you nail down and narrow down the audience as detailed as somehow possible um, this is how you used to advertise but again with the Andromeda update this is no longer how it's actually done so we actually stay in this advantage plus targeting area what you can see here at the top these controls here at the top these are hard boundaries so you can click on more controls and for example if you go in here and I, I named this um, USB so I'm just going to type in United States and now it's only going to target people in the United States. Sometimes it might happen that, you know, also someone in Canada or in, I don't know, Mexico or something is also going to see this, but this is going to be very rarely. And this is a hard boundary. So it's only going to be people in the US. Same thing also applies for the minimum age. So in case, I don't know, I'm selling something that's only relevant to people that are like a certain age, then we can set up the minimum age to 25 is the maximum that we can set here. But usually these days we just leave it open and then we could also exclude people so in case i don't know i have a list of paying members what i told you before in case i absolutely do not want them to also see the ad that i'm running then i can just create a custom audience over here in the audience area and then i could exclude them that's how it works super easy and then also in case i don't know like if you're targeting people i don't know in in, in switzerland where some people are talking french others are talking english others are talking i don't know german then you could just say like i only want to target people that are talking German I don't know like in the US it's not going to make a lot of sense and you can also see that the target audience is really small just to show you this is what you could do and then below here when you click on here you can see we are suggesting an audience so in the past what we did very often is we were testing like one simple detail targeting so for example if we go here to detail targeting and we type in like filmmaking something like this um, then I would go to yeah, interests in filmmaking and then I would test this and then I would just duplicate everything and then I would have I don't know like one that would be I don't know movie making or DSLR or something like this and this is how it used to work but what you can see here is like meta is actually telling us that this is just a suggestion um, so no matter what we put in here the algorithm and the AI of meta is still gonna do its thing so the way and how I like to do this is I like to keep this very broad these days it's like I'm not 
narrowing it down like it used to be of like I don't know I only want to target people that are 18 to 33 or like something really specific like this and only people that are interested in this in this and in that these days what I'm doing for example if we're targeting people for our avatar for our AI avatar course then I'm just saying I don't know like something that are people that are interested in social media marketing for example social media marketing and then people that are interested in digital marketing and maybe one more like content marketing something like this and then you can see we have a ginormous target audience because we're targeting the entire UK uh, US excuse me and in the past we always told our students like you need to be like below 10 million these days it's like I keep it as broad as it is and that's gonna be fine if you have your tracking set up properly if you have a good offer and if you have good creatives this is gonna convert awesomely um, placements we just leave it as it is like we keep it standardly we're also targeting or we're also advertising on threads and this is basically how we're um, how we're setting up our um, targeting these days then it's all about the creatives and again this would be way too much to cover for this video um, again in case you want to learn this check out the a AI meta ads accelerator but this is how how we set up testing campaigns and then for example I would have um, not only one ad here but I would maybe have something like two ads in here and this would be add one with hook one and then this would be add one with hook two something like this and then I would maybe have I don't know two three four different options depending on the budget that I have here again with ten dollars I would say like at least five euros or five dollars per ad that you have um, just as a rule of thumb it's not like something that you have have written in stone but that's like just a rule of thumb a guideline for you and that's how you can get started with your testing campaign and then for example if you wanted to also target different you know types of regions on the on the earth you could just duplicate this entire ad set here uh, original campaign and then for example what we could do is we could just instead of USA we could just target the UK or Europe in general something like this then of course we would go down here and change the actual location and then we would let this run for let's say five days or something like this again this is going to depend on your budget but um, considering we have ten dollars per day um, I would say like at least five to seven days is the time range that I would give this ads to actually deliver results especially if you are starting out and then you have not ran lots of ads before I would maybe even give it a little more ads unless it's like super super bad then cut them off earlier so this is our testing campaign and then after a couple of days once we figured that okay I don't know the US is performing a lot better and especially I don't know hook one is performing extremely well that's when we're gonna come over here not only to our testing campaign but we're gonna create a new campaign and this is gonna be a scaling campaign and inside of this scaling campaign there's only gonna be those ads that are absolutely crushing it so those ads that have a, a high click-through ratio a low cost per click and a high you know like a high conversion rate overall and a low cost per acquisition and that's what we're gonna do here again we would have um, basically more or less the same ad set as we had before the same ad as before and then we would just crank up the budget a lot um, that's going to be like just a, a quick overview over how meta ads work these days of course like we cannot cover absolutely everything in this video because then it will be like three hours long again in case you are interested in this in case you want to have a community where you can also ask your questions share your work and get feedback from myself and from the entire team and make sure you check out the ai meta ads accelerator we also have eight proprietary um, ai tools that is trained with everything that we know that's trained with our frameworks that we're using for ad copy for ad scripting for everything also when it comes to checking your offer building your funnel everything um, it's absolutely awesome and we also have a money back guarantee so you might as well just give it a shot but thank you so much for watching I really hope this gave you a good overview and I'll see you inside the accelerator